Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Echo, it's nice to meet you. Stick around because for today's vlog, I'm going to share with you my salmon pasta recipe. Salmon pasta is high on my list of my favorite pasta dishes. It's incredibly delicious, it's simple and easy to make. This recipe is also great for using up any leftover cooked salmon you might have in your fridge. My version of salmon pasta makes for a light but filling lunch or dinner you crave for. So, let's get started! Good morning! I'm Echo and welcome to Echo's Kitchen! Here are the ingredients. 200 grams of pasta, 250 grams of salmon, 1 cup of cooked shelled edamame, 1 cup of cherry tomatoes, a handful of parsley, 2 tablespoons of ketchup, half a teaspoon of dried chili flakes, 2 cloves of garlic, 1 small white onion, water, salt and pepper, olive oil, and half a cup of pasta water. Scale, clean, and pat dry the salmon, then cut into bite-sized pieces. Season with salt and pepper, then set aside. Thinly slice the garlic. Mince the onion. Cut the cherry tomatoes in quarters. You may also use regular tomatoes, then cut them in bite-sized pieces. Chop the parsley. Now these are fresh edamame in pods that I steam for 5 minutes. It's pretty easy to shell them. Just gently squeeze the pods with your fingers to release the beads. If fresh edamame is not available, use frozen shelled edamame instead. Boil them for 3 minutes and it's good to go. Frozen green peas is also a great substitute ingredient for this recipe. Now bring water to a boil and add a tablespoon of salt. Cook the pasta for 7 to 8 minutes or until al dente. Now turn to your frying pan, add some oil and fry the salmon over medium heat. When the salmon is cooked, transfer them into a bowl and set aside. Using the same frying pan, add some more oil and saute the garlic and the chopped onions. The brown bits at the bottom of the pan is going to add more flavor to this dish. So don't you worry about it. Just keep mixing and we'll deglaze it when we add the pasta water in a moment. When the onions appear translucent, add the tomatoes. Mix. And then season with salt and pepper. Mix again. And when the tomatoes are cooked, in goes our edamame. Cook for about a minute. To spice things up, add in the chili flakes and ketchup. You may also use fresh chili or no chili at all. It's up to you. Normally, I use tomato sauce for this recipe. Unfortunately though, I've run out of tomato sauce today, so I'm using ketchup instead. Just trust me, it works. And this dish will turn out super yummy. Now, add half a cup of pasta water and bring to a simmer. Time to add the cooked salmon. Mix. and then add a cooked pasta. Mix well. And then turn off the heat and now we can add the chopped parsley. And it's done! If you want to take your typical tomato pasta to a whole new level, try my version of salmon pasta. And when you do, try and make a big portion because this food is also great for packed lunch. Serve immediately and as always, enjoy! Thank you guys for watching! If you like this 
this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more delicious recipes, please like and follow my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have questions about the recipe, please leave me a comment below. As always, I would love to hear any feedback from you guys. Thank you for your support and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!